I want to talk about the price point because we are still in the midst of a recession. Mm -hmm. Americans are still very cautious of what they're spending. How much is this going to cost? Uh, It's going to be in the ballpark of 40,000, which is, you know, a lot of money for most people. But there will be um, federal credit of $7,500, which brings it down to 32 and a half. Some states are talking credits. Some of America's large cities are talking credits. And then there are some progressive companies that will give uh, financial aid to their employees if they buy a car like that. So I think with all of those credits, many people will be able to buy a Chevrolet Volt in you know, the mid-20s. Hmm, after you take all the deductions Yeah, after you take out. all the credits out. And what's most different about this car? What else is different technologically speaking? Well, because you say this is the most innovative yeah. GM has well, been. Well, it's, it's technologically interesting because normally people do a gasoline engine car with only a battery for starting it. Or they do a battery-powered vehicle like the Nissan Leaf with uh-huh. no gasoline engine, but that means you have a very limited range. The new thing about this is it's a pure electric vehicle for 40 miles or maybe even even a little more on a perfect mm-hmm. day. Uh, and if you don't have a chance to charge it or you're not back home, the computer knows what the state of charge is of the battery, and it seamlessly kicks in the gasoline engine very quietly. It operates uh, normally at a very low RPM, drives the generator, and uh, recharges the battery at the same rate that you're using the battery for it to hold it steady until you get home and then you charge it at home. And and give it just for the average American watching this who says, when can I buy a Volt? In the middle of the country, what would you say? 2012 likely? That's the big rollout? Yeah, yeah. go see your Chevrolet dealer, I would say, towards the end of this year and get your order in for delivery in 2012. All right, so this is how we turn it on. And then just take a look at the screens up here. So it says system initializing, please wait to shift. And once it tells me I can, now put it into drive. And then what we see here is the life of our battery. So the battery is coming to an end. And we see our speed, and then the drive mode, the acceleration is that green ball right there. Completely silent. And it does have a bit of pickup. So once, once our, our battery's almost gone, once we run out of that, then it kicks over to the gasoline engine. And now we power off just like that, and it's silent. Yeah. Oh, look, we were running 963 miles per gallon on that run. Wow. Not too shabby. We weren't using much gas, (laughs) any gas, that's true.